Right guys, uh, welcome back to part three of the Shinoda Hill Story Selection now. Uh, been a bit prolonged this one because of uh, pond space here, it's been holding this back, but my God, I can't wait to share this with you. Uh, super, super excited to see the results myself. I think you're gonna be pretty gobsmacked. Uh, you'll be able to see part one and part two. Uh, we've got the links in the description below. Uh, as well as that, uh, because there's gonna be a lot of these released for, sa uh, for sale today, it's a really high consistent level in the whole pond. Uh, I'm only looking for uh, you know, about 50 to 100 pieces, see where it goes for raising until the end of the year. So there's gonna be about two, 250 of these released up for sale. It's uh, a great chance to bag a, a super, super fish from a super bloodline. Uh, we're gonna also pop uh, in the comments, oh, sorry, in the description below, a full list of all of the dealers uh, who will purchase these over the next couple of days. So you'll know exactly where to go and get one if you're looking to buy one. So enough of that bit, uh, let's say growth wise. So they've been in this three and a half thousand gallon pond. There is, I believe about three, 350 fish. I can't remember exactly any a hold together. Uh, we started off, I think at about six to 12 CM these on average. And looking at them now, I think we're hitting 25 and possibly some 35 CM already. Uh, it's a really basic system, again, just to point out, you know, it's drum filtered. There's a 500 litre uh, fluid bed in there with K1. The turnover rate of the pond is about once every two uh, hours. And we've just got two dedicated air pumps, one for the pond, one for the fluid bed, uh, the UV, and that's it. It's an incredibly uh, cost efficient system, low running costs. The most expensive part is the heating, in all honesty, which is obviously a big part of, of why we've got these results. So uh, yeah, enough of that, let's get stuck into it. Uh, towards the end of the video, we'll, we'll have a look at uh, some of the fish being put up for sale, and as well as that, some of the fish that I'll be keeping to on the rest of the summer. So uh, happy days. So uh, yeah, you can see the general bowl set up here. Uh, Chris from Koi Talks with me today, just helping out. Uh, fish are gonna go straight into this bowl here from the pond, and then we're gonna sort what I'm keeping in this bowl over here and what's being released uh, for sale out in that bowl there. And uh, yeah, wow. So this is the first time I've had any of these out since uh, the last video, to be honest. And uh, <laughs> they're insane. Body condition is absolutely superb. The colors come on a treat. If you remember back to that first video, they looked like pretty poor uh, Kiyotsori, to be honest, which is normal for such young Kiyotsori, but now just a completely different beast. And what I've noticed already with the Shinoda Hiltsori, uh, which is what they're, they're really famed for, is that size and jumbo potential. And I'm really seeing that in the bone structures of these fish. The head is, is so big, it's broad. It's a very consistent characteristic I've, I've seen in them. So uh, yeah, really excited to see where these head. Along the way, it all is gonna be fish like this one, pointing out straight away. Uh, that fish I can already see is not, not quite strong enough to compete uh, against some of the other sort of beasts that are in here. So it's not likely to make it into the selection of fish I'll be looking to keep now. That's a super high level fish there that uh, is gonna grace any pond and still gonna grow. It just needs to be away from this super competitive environment to enable it to thrive. So uh, yeah, plenty of, of that along the way. So uh, let's get into it. So my real big focus on selection today is, is the body and size element. It's a big part of what I'm wanting to do with these see how big a Nissai we can actually achieve. You'll know from all my videos, I'm always focusing on body first, but there's also, there's a size element to the selection today uh, as well. I'm looking, typically I'd put more fish in the pond at this stage and go look to do another selection a bit later on, but I'm gonna look to try and avoid that part and uh, just go straight through to the end of the, the growing season with these now. You can already see there, fascinating. There was a few really smaller ones we put back, I think from video two, where we, just to give them the opportunity to get a bit bigger and they have done, but already you can see here, these are even substantially bigger than the fish were from, from video one. Crazy, crazy when you see that side by side and what's actually been achieved in this pond. It's quite interesting. So as I'm moving every fish, uh, there's pretty much bits of hand can pick up. So as I pick this fish up then, just notice it feeling different. You can see there's actually no uh, no anal fin for that one. Absolutely nothing there. Which is a shame, great fish. Uh, but that's all part of raising koi. 
we just look at this one here i mean wow what what an example you can really see that body power uh, and this one's swimming next to it as well look at the heads phenomenal phenomenal heads bone structures sheer power in the body there i mean the pattern on that is absolutely top drawer as well just everything about it superb another great example there just see this the height of this backbone there, superb fish. Obviously last year uh, we uh, raised really successfully the uh, Marise Heeltsori. Did have some great results, great size, surpassed the sort of sizes that the breeder actually raises them to uh, in Japan, but nothing quite compares to, uh, to be honest with you, at this point the qualities I'm seeing are, are clearly a level above uh, those fish even. But Shinoda is the master of, of this fish and it's why demand for these worldwide is just so high all the time. Another prime example here, look, absolutely superb quality fish there. The sumi quality and refinement is mega. Great fish, it's just unpinned and unfortunate it's not competed well enough in this environment. But absolutely stunning fish. Another, uh, yeah... Again, all part of raising and fish farming fish on scale. Superb fish there, incredible size, body, absolutely everything. I mean, that must be the best parts of 35 cm. As I've gone to lift it, same thing. There's been quite a few of these today. No anal fin there whatsoever. What an absolute shame. But for somebody who doesn't really care about that being on the bottom of the fish, they're going to pick up an absolute bargain there somewhere because that is going to be a beast of a fish. And I wouldn't have hesitated to keep it. Oh, that's <laughs> <laughs> Wow. I mean, the size of that is just remarkable. Superb. That's one of the top fish right there without hesitation. Absolutely incredible. Absolute beast. Just come out there. Incredible. I mean, look at the structure the length of that the size the zoom is absolutely shining the luster it's going to be an absolute monster of a fish you see it you now i think we've had one of the uh oh, i've moved it already little ones for comparison again but still just absolute beast super clean super clean benny i really am so impressed with these uh you know the sorry they're remarkable I really just want to keep stressing while I keep doing this, just consider the environment and the simplicity of the, env <laughs> the environment that these have actually been raised in. And there's people out there telling you you can only keep one fish to two, three hundred gallons of water. It's the biggest load of bollocks I've ever heard in my life. Just look what's been done here. There's probably, you know, not a textbook out there that wouldn't lead to the conclusion that these should probably all be dead now, not growing at the rate that they have been doing. And be in the condition that they're actually in and this is the whole part of why i wanted to do this to, to really demonstrate to you what is possible without spending fortunes on uh, unnecessary equipment and over complicated setups and things like running reverse osmosis uh, it's just you can see here why would i need to do any more than what i'm doing It's all right, the, the good old saying, all the gear and no idea. Uh, this really here is knowledge and experience first, beyond everything. The most basic tool delivering the, the absolute best results. I do firmly believe the food plays a massive part in it. You know, Saki Akari and going back full time to it has just pushed results up to another level. And uh, wow, sorry to interrupt, mm. Jesus Christ. Look at the power of that. I mean, this already looks like a sort of standard Japanese Nisai from the old days. Jesus. What a fish. Quality of that sumi there. Body power. Incredible. Height. It's got everything. Wow. Right, so... Uh we're done what an incredible selection it seemed like a never-ending uh, pit of fish that to be honest with you uh but, but wow 
uh, wow size absolutely incredible again i just want to come back to that one you know just to show you guys what's possible especially if you decide to invest in adding heat uh, when you then get the skills of knowing how to feed getting the right food with the most basic uh, other tools around it you can achieve uh, incredible results uh, so here in this bowl right now we've got a sample selection of the fish that are now going to be released for sale uh, these are likely to be hitting dealers from from next week onwards to be honest with you we've got a great size range so first real measure up here got 25 cm uh, on the small end there getting on for there we go 29 30 cm there don't know if that's the biggest one there's certainly some bigger uh, in the pond but this is literally just a random scoop out uh, of what's what's sat in there so yeah that one's nailing 30 centimeters what you can see in these and this is the big shinoda trait uh is incredible and this is obviously part raising technique here but the the benny power sumi quality is exceptional uh body power sorry body power in this i mean it's just such strong fish these are going to be absolute growing machines wherever they go bearing in mind they're pretty much they're probably about 11 to 12 months old uh, at this point don't know shinoda's exact spawning date but can see these characteristics here in this big bold face with these big mouths super benny i mean the benny quality is nice now but we can see there's still so much more pigmentation still in them scales the darker area there to come out so with the right raising the intensity on that is just going to move uh through the gears it's going to be absolutely insane but the i'd say the big characteristic i'm dead excited about right now uh is the bodies on these things just brilliant real power uh, real grow from a jumbo bloodline say so he's got a big collection of these 90 cm up to a meter completely doable with shinoda heel sorry obviously in the right conditions but yeah super super happy with with the results see fish after fish very very similar quality level and that's that's the nice thing the average quality level across the whole batch uh, has really impressed me as well so uh they're going to be a pretty affordable price range as well that's been one of the big benefits to having the fish actually raised here with shipping rates as they actually are uh, it's a real problem and shipping fish at this size uh, the freight does really bump them up because big bodied fish at this sort of size packing numbers are relatively low and it adds a huge amount of cost so by having them raised here in the uk uh, that is something we can beat at the minute and uh, yeah i'm excited for people to get their hands on them uh, let's say not that easy to get typically uh you're only seeing the bigger size nissai in the uk which commands uh, you know quite a value even at that point so uh, to actually have tow side that everybody can enjoy and raise themselves especially jumbo tow side at this level uh, dead excited so uh yeah happy days with them uh now i'm just going to get these back and then show you a sample of uh, the some of the best fish uh that from the whole batch that i'm planning to keep and raise further and this year here we are uh the final bit the the stash uh honestly there's way more ended up uh in that net than i was anticipating just from in the pond the amount of quality in here across the board really is exceptional uh but yeah this is just 10 pieces i've had a bit of a select through uh, there's possibly looking in here three or four of the real top pieces from the pond and then some more which just sort of demonstrate the other sort of standard level uh, of what will be getting raised further for a little bit longer so uh, yeah again just look look at <laughs> what's in here bodies just to die for some incredible patterns uh, as well but if we obviously look in i think overall today uh, the biggest fish we've seen so far was 35 centimeters on the other bowl uh yeah i'm not got that fish in here we've got this one at 33 is just exceptional bearing in mind when we started with these i think they were at 6 to 12 cm or, or something like that so uh, we're probably averaging around 30 uh, 32 coming in there just just remarkable 27 there so yeah you can you can see obviously what you can really see in here is that the real sort of body standout bits you see on this one look just super super power and it's going to be a monstrous fish uh, by the end of the summer this huge nissai i'm expecting this one i mean look at the power huge head huge backbone superb sumi quality benny quality is there now and it's even come in there's plenty more to do plenty to come on that as well 
yeah, uh, not too much more to say really. Plan is now I will just sort of go through uh, that selection one more time, get them back into the pond. I certainly, I mean, looking here, there looks way over 100 fish uh, in the net. I don't want to go uh, over 100 back into the pond at this point. Uh, I have got a, uh, a backy shower, one of the Profidrum ones on order. You might have seen them in the videos before or on our pictures of the farm. Uh, that's going to get on here and that's really going to accelerate what happens with these this year. So from where these are at, I'm expecting to be hitting 50 centimetre in this size, an absolute bare minimum with potentially fish like this one. And this one potentially even uh, exceeding that depending on the length of the growing season that that i give them but likelihood is i'm not sure whether or not there'll be another selection on this pond over that period i will really want to test the the shower and see how the pond performs with that i was planning on just keeping 50 but with that in mind i think we can possibly achieve those results with 100 in the pond and they're the sort of boundaries that i i like to find along the way so uh yeah, just take a minute to to enjoy what's in here and uh, yeah don't forget if you'd like to purchase one of the uh the other tattoo style that's been released now you can uh, find the the links to all the dealers who have purchased them in the comments uh the description of the video below and uh yeah enjoy these fantastic fish from a fantastic bloodline so uh, yeah we'll be back at the, the next selection